This is your boy Tyrone Muhammad, aka Muhammad the Mortician. You already know, guys, number one mortician in the nation. Actually, subscribe to our YouTube channel, Dead Dummies. Man, this message right here is dedicated to a beautiful young princess. Most of you guys should know about right now who I'm talking about, Sakaria Turner, an eight year old young sister brutally murdered right there and not in the white man's land, not in the Ku Klux Klan land, no, not in the white Aryan nation land, right in the heart of the black ghetto of America. Well, as you guys most of it know that, but in the past couple of weeks ago, even going back to Father's Day in Chicago, 114 shot, 104 shot, pardon me, 14 murdered. This past 4th of July, they kind of duplicated in Chicago, 64. 14 dead, but I'm talking about the 8-year-old black young sister, beautiful queen that was murdered in Atlanta where she was in the car with her mother and they must have rolled up in the protest zone where um, Rashad Brooks, you guys know him, the intoxicated man, the man that didn't know where he was at, the man that was talking all kind of nonsense out of his head, and unfortunately, not condoning that the man was murdered, no, definitely not, but his life could have been still here had he just op cooperated with law and order. But this young baby didn't get that opportunity. She was ambushed by savages in the community. That's right. Right in that community. I can't even call it a community. The zoo. The jungle. When you let an eight-year-old baby get shot in the head. How, how, how can we do that? Why, when I look around there on social media, we're not even seeing that young sister get much airplay. But this message is for her, letting her know that we love you, young sister. I'm sorry that you lost your life. But this is going to continue to happen because black people are not willing to stand up when we need you to stand up. We don't need you standing up, my brothers from the NFAC. I love what you brothers doing and never, um, you know, F around or, you know what I mean, coalition. Not effing around coalition. We don't need you in Stone Mountain, man. We don't need you in Georgia. We need you right there in the heart of the ghettos showing up for these young black men. Letting them know, man, listen, your reign of terror is over. We're not going to allow you to continue killing our young babies. I am so sick and fed up because I know in my mind that young sister's laying on some type of coal embalming table by now. She has some dumped some coal embalming fluid in her from some cold water watching her blood run down the drain. Now I'm as a mortician, I know what's going to go on behind the scenes. You're going to get this kind of effect right here. You see that? Got it open? This young sister here got it open up on top of somebody embalming table, man. And this is why I, I'm not down with no Black Lives Matter. Why? The Black Lives Matter is not doing anything, man, to embrace the black community. Because we know it is a fraudulent, liberal, political arm of the Democratic Party. Financed by George Soros. So how can we sit here and allow this young eight-year-old baby death go unnoticed? How can we allow this young baby death to go unheard of? But we see you posting on social media... Fourth of July fireworks. You say you don't even love America. But here's you busting fireworks. Here's you showing your crab legs. And this young baby has been murdered. And the father said it very clearly. Black Lives Matter, you got it wrong this time. You killed one of your own. So you think that white people care about you? You think that white people are really concerned about you? Every time you're walking around here, come on, Black Lives Matter, no justice, no peace, you pulling down statues. You think that affect black, white people? That don't affect white people. White people are laughing at you, man, because they know at the end of the day, you ain't going to do nothing but go right back home. So we sick and tired of you black Negroes in the community killing babies. You know, it was a time back in the day, man, we wouldn't even touch babies. It was a time back in the day, man, you, you get the intended target, which you shouldn't be killing at all. But now you're affecting our babies over the past couple of weeks, man. We done lost 50, we done lost 60 young babies, 8, 9, 10, 11, 14 years old. And ain't nobody saying nothing, man. So I don't want to hear nothing about that you hating on Donald Trump. I don't want to hear nothing about Donald Trump as a racist. I don't want to hear none of that crap. I want to hear that you have nothing but the pit of the devil that's lined up in you. We want to know that the, terror, the terrorizing Negroes in our community must go. And this no snitching code got to go. We can't let this young baby life go in vain. We can't let this young sister, Sakaria Turner, know that her blood, which is stained the concrete right there in Georgia, there's nobody going out there marching where there's no looting, there's no rioting, there's no upset, there's no picketing, there's no pulling the Negro that shot this young baby. 
out. So how can we be taken seriously, family? So it's up to us to stop the killing in our community. You understand what I'm saying? Because you got the people that's still sitting back watching all this unfold. They just seeing you as a joke that you are. And you are nothing but a joke. You're nothing but killers. That's what you are. And until the black man stand up and claim his manhood and stop, start being a patriarch once again in the family. But most of the patriarchs are turning to matriarchs. You guys are putting your, tail, your, your tails between your legs. It's time for you to stand up. So, Sister Sakaria Turner, we just want to let you know, sister, we love you. I'm sorry that you had to be born in the zoo, in the jungle, in the ghetto of America. And I'm sorry that this killer, when you was out there, I saw you, sister. I saw you out there with the Black Lives Matter movement, with the fist raised up. But while your fist was raised up, you didn't know a few days later that somebody else was going to raise up their fist. But they weren't raising up their fist in protest. They was coming to kill your dreams. Your goals, your aspiration, and your happiness. So I'm like Donald Trump, man. Listen to me. We got to put up the borders. We got to put up the borders to safeguard our happiness. Now, if you don't want to be down with the growth and prosperity within the black community, you want to stay out and you want to be the hyenas, you want to be the goddamn wild dog packs, you want to be some pit bull. Well, man, listen, we got to we gotta talk to you. And ain't no program going to get you right, man. It's just ass whooping. That's what you need. So my young sister, we want to let you know we love you. More teachers that care, we stand for you. And everywhere we go, when we speak, we're going to speak for you. We want to let you know that I know you smiling down upon heaven, asking God himself, what did I deserve, God, to deserve a bullet to go through me? What did I deserve that my happiness will be taken away from me? What did I deserve that I wouldn't be able to see my mother and father again? All I was trying to do is get home to see my, my little aunt. Now my dad can't even walk me down the aisle no more. Now I'm never going to know what it feels like to get married, to have children, to live a life of prosperity, network, go to school, college, and become successful. Never going to get that. But that's what them hyenas do. That's what those killers in the community do. They rob dreams. They rob goals. They rob aspirations. And until their lives start to be taken, until their dreams start to be taken, some of their goals being tarnished, some of their goals being snatched from them and their dreams and their passion, then they will see it. So my young sister, we say rest on in Christ. This is your boy Muhammad the Mortician, and you already know. I'm out. Peace.